It's amazing to see all these young people here. You are the future. I'm so happy and blessed to see all of you here. My name's Pastor Mo, and originally I was born in Malaysia. I grew up in a Chinese neighborhood, and uh, I thought I was Chinese. Uh, growing up in an Indian home, but I thought I was Chinese. I spoke Cantonese very fluently, even to my own parents. And so uh, that is my tradition, and I, I'm privileged to be the pastor of Shepherd's House here in Malaysia. When the pandemic first hit, I couldn't believe some of the words I was hearing from my own congregation members who wouldn't go to Chinese restaurants, who stayed away from Chinatown, and would not visit any Asian store, Asian owned businesses. And I realized right then and there that racism is a virus. It attaches itself and virus lives for a long time because it's able to mutate. It's a dangerous thing. In the American civil life, racism is a virus that has mutated over time. It takes different forms and shapes, but it's still there. And what we do need in this new generation, in this new time, is a vaccine. A vaccine of love, justice, righteousness, and compassion. And when a community like you, and me, and us, 1640, this town was founded. And the founding fathers, when they came in, declared a covenant. America is a nation like no other. Its political identity and its discourse is like no other. It is a covenant. And President Obama in his inaugural address said, you and I make this nation. We're not the rulers and the ruled, but we the people. If my neighbors are diminished, then I am diminished. What makes America good and what makes America compassionate is the people. So we need to rise up together against this violence, against this racism, and it's any shape and form. And where do we start? We start in our religious traditions. As a pastor, I need to bring the religious traditions in because tomorrow is Passover. And to the Jewish community, happy Pesach. And what Passover means is God doesn't look too kindly upon a nation that treats its minority unjustly. The whole saga, the story of the Passover, is about a minority being oppressed and how God comes to their rescue. And then we have the celebration of my Hindu family members. We celebrate the holy on Monday. And it's a tradition where good overcomes evil. And we have Easter coming up next, Good Friday. It's a call to justice and sacrifice. And we have Ramadan. My Muslim brothers and sisters celebrate Ramadan. And after Ramadan, they celebrate the Id, which is the sacrifice of Ishmael. And when God says, you shall not abuse your children. And these are the lessons we have to learn from our religious traditions. And my brothers and sisters, days that we celebrate our religious traditions is not simply a day, but we need to make that a lifestyle. A lifestyle that is embedded in justice, righteousness, and compassion. And so today we've gathered here, we've had a good time, but what are we gonna do about it? What are we going to do about the injustice, the injustices, against the African-American community, the minorities, the transgender, the Asian communities, and other minorities in this nation. What are you going to do about it? And in the tradition of my good friend, Dean Solomon, the Social Council of Social Concern, is a Jewish tradition. And in this tradition, there's a beautiful word known as tikkun olam, which means God has given us the responsibility to heal the broken universe. We are responsible for the broken systems. But the universe is a mighty big place. It's a very big place. So how do we start it? Each one of us has a slice of this universe to heal. You find your own slice and make it better. To the young people here, I say, find your little slice. 
of the universe and make that little place the best that you can. And together, we can make this better. Together, we can make a difference. As I close, I stand in the tradition of my ancestors, the Hindus. I stand in the tradition of my friends in India who are Muslims. I stand in the tradition of the Sikhs. I stand in the tradition of my wife's family, the Jewish heritage. I stand in the tradition of all these faiths. And I pray. I lift up my eyes to the hills. Where does my help come from? My help comes from the Lord. Our help comes from the Lord, the creator of heaven and earth. Oh God, you are the source of life and peace. Blessed be your name forever. We know it is you who turns our minds to thoughts of shalom and peace. Please share our prayer today in times of crisis. Your grace and power changes our hearts. Muslims, Hindus, Buddhists, Christians, Jews, and the people of all tradition remember and affirm that today we look on to you for help. Let us Americans as brothers and sisters begin to speak with one another. Those who are estranged and our enemies will join hands in friendship. We the people will seek the way of peace together. Strengthen our resolve to give us witness to the truths that we are to live by. Give us today an understanding that puts an end to racism, bigotry, hatred, and strife. Mercy that quenches hatred and forgiveness that overcomes vengeance. Empower all the people to live in your law of love. In the Hindu tradition, I say Om Shanti. In the Islamic tradition, I say Salam. In the Hebrew tradition, I say Shalom. In the voices of all the people, I say Amen. God bless you all. Thank you.